Hey everybody, Damon Bungard, brand manager for Orion Coolers here again with another little tidbit. So today, I'm out here at one of my home lakes in Tennessee and we're gonna be doing some bass fly fishing and we're gonna be going bass burden. That's right, so this is a bird fly from Jackson Kayak Fishing Team member Pat Cohen, areyousuperfly.com. He ties these amazing little baby bird flies. And uh, most people when they think of bass fishing don't think of matching of any kind of hatch at all. But there is a certain time of year, particularly when the baby birds are actually hatching, they'll either get pushed out of the nest on these, some of these dead trees in the lake, or when they start learning how to fly, they'll fall into the water. Well, some of those really stupidly big bass are looking for that bird when it hits the water. So I'm gonna get in my Kilroy DT, I got Morbus Recon, I got my Hydros, I'm rigging up, and I'm gonna get out there and see if I can't get a big old bass to eat a big old bird fly. So as I mentioned, today I'm in our Kilroy DT model, and this is a model that usually comes in a tandem seating configuration, but today I'm taking both seats out and I've swapped them for one Orion. So here's my seat, it's in my trailer, it's gonna stay there. And then over here, you can kinda see how I rig my Kilroy DT. So I'll go through this kind of as an overview to show you what I rig and where and why and how it all works together. So obvious question, the first one is, okay, so seats are out, how do I secure the Orion in the kayak? Well, this is how. These are Yak Attack tie downs, and they mount right to the standard tracks that come on the boat. And then up here, you can see that I've gone with a just a simple cam strap that we sell underneath the track system. So on our tracks, you can tie it down over the track or under the track. Now, since I intend to use the tracks for mounting things today, I've decided to go under the track, and that leaves me room for things like my Buck's Blizzard tool and its holster right there conveniently mounted off the track as well. For my rod holder, I'm just using the standard Ram 2007 holder that comes with the kayak. So I, I like it behind my seat where it's quick and easy and convenient to grab. If I want it secure when I'm paddling long distance, I can strap it in. But usually I just rest the fly, the fly rod there where I can quickly grab it and make a cast. Now you're gonna see multiple camera locations I have. This is using Jack Attack's portrait, so panfish. So I have one camera mounted in the front that I can turn quickly and get whatever shots I want. And then I have another one. This is GoPro Session, mounted on a number of adjoining RAM arms behind my seat. So I can quickly articulate this. I can swing this down for underwater shots. I can get whatever I need very, very fast from that. In the back, you know how much we're a big fan of the Parapole Micro Anchor. So I have it with its battery pack clipped on the back. Press of a button, I can stop myself and take wind out of my kayak fishing equation in shallow water. But on the far side of the kayak, you'll see I have a Ram X grip holding my phone and the other side of the tie down. Now, because today, it's just, a sh I'm gonna be out here for a few hours. I'll show you a quick view inside my Orion. Again, I'm just out for a day here, so there's no ice at all in here. All I've done is I've pre-chilled the cooler. I've pre-chilled it with some Arctic ice packs. There's one lining the bottom, and I have my lunch, I have my snacks, I have my filet knife for later. I keep some bass for dinner, and I have my cold drinks but I want to keep cold for the day. I even keep my cameras in here so they don't overheat too much in the sun. So really this is just, think of it as refrigerated cold storage on a day like today. No water to deal with. So if I want to keep anything, if I want to put it in there, get it out of my way, I can. And then in the front, I have a nice clean, I can sit down and I have a nice clean area. I have a, a bag up, a dry bag up front with my fly boxes. I can tuck it away when I want to, up into the front storage, or I can move this to footrest all the way out of the way. So this is kind of my setup. I got my Angler Pro and 
My PFD right now is in the back. So I'm gonna go get out there. I got my bird fly ready. 